good day students in this video we are going to design a combinational circuit for seven segment display of a very simple vending machine so this states your problem statements so two products are sold from a vending machine which has two push buttons p1 and p2 when a button is pressed the price of the corresponding product is displayed in a seven segment display so if no buttons are pressed zero is displayed signifying rupees zero if switch p1 is pressed two is displayed signifying rupees two when the push button p2 is pressed five is displayed signifying rupees five if both p1 and p2 are pressed e is displayed signifying error so the names of the seven segment display is shown for this particular circuit we are going to design a digital so this is the expected statement for this statement we are going to design a circuit so before designing a circuit let us review the basics of seven segment display so in a seven segment display so you will be having eight displays and the numberings is given like this so here if you see for each segment here we will be having a light emitting type led so when this led will glow so this led will glow when its anode is potential anode potential is greater than cathode potential so let us assume this cathode is grounded so let us assume all the leds cathode are grounded and if i place a 5 volts in the anode then this will be glowing so this is the simple tactics which is called as common cathode connection so in common cathode the leds in all the segments so each and every segment will be having a led and the cathode of all the leds are connected to ground so if you are giving one to anode so this 5 volts represents logic 1 so if logic 1 is given to the anode then the light glow if logic 0 is given to anode then the light is switched off so this is the basics of the seven segment display and based on this basic we are going to design our design so for the first case what is our expectation is so for this segment if no keys are pressed then we want to display zero if p1 is pressed we want display 2 if p2 is only pressed we want to display 5 if both the keys pressed we want to display e so if i want to display 0 what are the common connections to be switched on so these leds should be switched on to get the value of 0 so what is thing here is a b c d e f all these segments should be given logic 1 and this g segment should be off so g is off all other should be one if such a combination is given the led seven segment led will glow zero so if you see for the same seven segment led if you want to make two so so to make two these segments should be switched on so the segment should be switched on for the two us a b d e g and here c 
सी एंड एफ और ऑफ राइट सो सिमिलरली फॉर द थर्ड केस वी नीड टू डिस्प्ले फाइव सो फॉर दिस सेगमेंट टू डिस्प्ले फाइव वॉट इज अवर रिक्वायरमेंट इज वी नीड टू स्विच ऑन दिस एल ई डी पैटर्न सो हियर द स्विच ऑफ पैटर्न इज बी एंड ई सो हियर B and E is off to display a character फाइव For the last one, if no keys are pressed, we want to display error. So E should be displayed. So the switch of patterns will be B C. So B C or off. So similarly, what character we want to display in सेवन सेगमेंट एल इ डी दैट पर्टिकुलर वैल्यू शुड बी गिवन वन एंड विच सेगमेंट वी वॉन्ट टू ऑफ दैट शुड बी गिवन जीरो सो बेस्ड ऑन दिस इंफॉर्मेशन नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू अराइव अर अवर ट्रूथ टेबल सो हियर वी आर हैविंग ओनली टू इनपुट्स सो विच इज पी टू एंड P1 and we are having seven segment LEDs, so seven outputs. So seven outputs are from A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So these are the seven outputs we require. And what is the patterns is for the two inputs, two switch pattern, the combinations are four. So zero 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 one one zero one one. It implies zero zero no push button is pressed. Zero one P one is pressed. One zero P two is only pressed. And P one one both the keys are pressed. So what we want to display is for zero zero we want to display zero. For zero one we want to display two. For one zero we want to display five. For one one we want to display error E. So what is the uh, seven segment code for zero? So for the seven segment code for zero, G pattern is zero. All others are one. So all six are one. G should be zero. So to make a pattern two, C and F are zero. So C and F are zero. All other patterns are one. So to display five, B and E are zero. So B and E are zeros. All other patterns are one. For E, B and C are zero. All other patterns are one. So this is the truth table that we have created. so from this truth table what we infer is we are having two inputs and we are having seven outputs so it's a two variable problem and seven outputs we have to deal individual output and we have to design for seven expressions and we need to draw seven diagrams in some form so if you consider a we need to draw a two variable map which will be consist of only two variables like this so we need to construct this type of two cross two two variable map for each and every output so we have to construct seven maps as such and we have to find the seven expressions for this one so for example for a we need to create a two variable map where here the order is p2 and p1 so the values inside is 0 1 2 3 everything is one so this is 0 this is 1 this is p1 0 this is p1 so here we need to block everything so four ones can be grouped so if you extend row wise or column wise all variables are varying 
so the expression for a is 1 as it is so to find the expression for b again here p2 here p1 and for b the combinations if you see here 0 1 0 1 the blocks in red is here 0 1 2 3 so the min terms for b is 0 and 1 and we need to fill 0 and 1 with 1's to fill 0 and 1's we can group this one and we extend column wise the value of this b is p2 bar so similarly if you go for doing for c again p2 here p1 here so for c the min terms to be filled is 0 and 2 so we can group this one as such thing so here the extended value is p1 is 0 so the expression is p1 bar similarly you can develop the other four k maps and we get an expression such that for d you will be getting 1 for e you will be getting p2 bar plus p1 for f we will be getting p1 bar plus p2 and for g we will be getting p1 plus p2 so these are the expressions that we are deriving for the seven variables and then we can draw the circuit so for the circuit we are having two inputs p2 and the inverse of p2 p1 and the inverse of p1 so the circuit is and apart from this we can have a bcc as it is which means this equal to 1 logic so for a so for a you will be getting the vcc for b p2 bar should be taken so it is b for c p1 bar is taken this is C and for D again 1 is stick so this is D for E P2 bar plus P1 is stick so as it is plus we have to connect R gate to calculate E so for F P1 bar is taken and P2 is taken so it is R to give F so for G again P1 plus P2 is the expression so this is the required circuit which will give you which will give you the vending machine circuit so this will give your expected answer hope you can understand these things thank you for